This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Monday, February 8th, 2010, bringing you news from aquatic sports around the globe. The USA Diving Winter Nationals conclude today with the finals of the one-meter events. On Saturday, Troy Dumay made history with his 30th career national title with a win on the men's three-meter synchro with Christian Ibsen. With the win, Dumay is second only to Greg Louganis, who has 47 national titles. Chris Colwell kept Dumay from winning title number 31 on Saturday. Colwell won the three-meter individual event. Ibsen finished 32 points back in second. David Budaya and Dumay third and fourth, respectively. Haley Ishimatsu scaled back the degree of difficulty on her dive list in the platform diving final Saturday, but still had no trouble winning with a score of 721 points. Indiana University senior Amy Korthau placed second, more than 50 points back. Christina Lucas won two events at Nationals, taking the individual 3-meter springboard and the synchro 3-meter title with partner Kelsey Bryant, who's now a sophomore at Minnesota. After a third-place finish in the 3-meter event, David Budaya won both the individual platform, diving, and synchro uh, platform with his longtime diving partner, Thomas Fincham. In winning the individual title, Budaya set a couple American records. His score of 551.20 in the finals was the highest score in history, beating his 550.3 he earned at the 2008 Olympic trials. He also scored 109.15 points on a forward four and a half somersault, the most points scored on any single dive. Budai had previously owned that record as well with 108 points. He's definitely going to be one of the big names to watch at next month's NCAA championships. The top two finishers in each event were selected to compete in the FINA World Cup event in China in June. For more on nationals, you can go to our diving channel at SwimmingWorld.com. Over in Great Britain, Thomas Daly, the 15-year-old phenom, was the surprise second-place finisher in the men's platform at the British Gas National Cup. Daly finished 40 points behind Peter Waterfield, who's 13 years older than Daly. The big draw for the competition was seeing if Daly could pull off the most difficult dive in the meet, a two-and-a-half somersault with two-and-a-half twists. Daly was successful, completed the dive, getting scores of eight-and-a-half from the judges, but he did falter on a much easier dive earlier in the finals. That cost him the victory. Back here in the U.S., college swimming dual meets just about done for the season. The defending Division I men's champion Auburn Tigers posted some pretty good in-season times against Emory University, proving they're going to be a strong force again next week at the SEC Championships. The Auburn women performed well, with seniors Ava Olgren and Melissa Merrick each winning two events. The number one ranked Texas men's team faced a few challenges from conference rival Texas A&M, but they pulled out another dual meet victory. Sophomore Jimmy Feagan was the swimmer of the meet, posted a 19-9 in the 50 and a 44-3 in the 100. And the next day against SMU, Feagan swam almost identical times in both those events. Well, Nathan Adrian continues to prove that he is the man to beat in the sprint freeze this year. The Cal Jr. swam a 19-4 in the 50 and at the Bears dual meet against USC on Friday. Adrian also swam a very fast 136 flat in the 200 free and 47.5 in the 100 fly. Freshman Tom Shields won both butterflies against USC, lifetime best 47.3 and 145.18. Both swims rank Shields in the top 10 in those events in the country. We've got a lot more results from this weekend's dual meets on our college channel at SwimmingWorld.com. In other news, Swimming Australia is in lockdown mode in the weeks following Alan Thompson's departure as national team head coach. Swimmers and coaches have been instructed not to talk to the media regarding Thompson's resignation. Swimmer Nick Darcy, the one who was charged with assaulting a fellow swimmer after the 2008 Olympic trials, received a more extensive gag order after suggesting this fall's Commonwealth Games might not be held in India due to security concerns. And Argentina was host to two FINA open water races this weekend. Fran Crippen won the 10K marathon race on Saturday, one hour and 50 minutes. Chad Ho, just three seconds back for his second silver in as many races. And Germany's Angela Maurer bounced back from a fifth place finish on the first leg of the tour. She won last weekend over American teenager Eva Fabian. 
Just seven days after completing a grueling 57-kilometer swim in the second leg of the FINA Grand Prix, many of the swimmers returned for an 88-kilometer race. The host country won the men's and women's races, with Damien Blom winning the men's in 8 hours, 23 minutes, and Pilar Sejo winning the women's race 8 hours, 34 minutes. The Grand Prix Series uh, will resume in April with a race in Mexico. The 10K Marathon World Cup will return in June in Portugal. And that is it for the news today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.